Ever since civilian nuclear power was commercialized in the 1960s, the question of how to safely dismantle power stations has been an ongoing source of discussion. This is a long, complex and expensive operation. Phase 1 involves shutting down or decontaminating the plant. Nuclear fuel is discharged and circuits drained. It's usually possible to eradicate 99.9% .9 of the radioactivity originally present. The site is then left untouched and monitored over a certain period of time. It's only totally dismantled in the second phase of the project, when equipment and structures are cleaned and removed, with the exception of the reactor building. At this stage, it's too early to access the most contaminated areas of a site, but there's still an element of risk. Cleaning, dissecting and disposing of parts responsibly require careful attention. The reactor building, meanwhile, remains sealed off and monitored. Finally, in Phase 3, it's dismantled. This is the most delicate part of the whole operation, as it involves reopening the building without contaminating the area or staff on the outside. Remote-controlled robots are used to do most of the clean-up work. According to French energy supplier EDF, shutting down a typical nuclear power station with four reactors to Phase 2, so not including the reactor building, would generate 30,500 tonnes of waste in need of special treatment. 20,000 tonnes would be very slightly radioactive, 10,000 tonnes slightly radioactive, and 500 tonnes mildly radioactive. But the figures remain questionable. The OECD cites 36,000 tonnes for the total shutdown of a power plant. Up until now, no site has been entirely dismantled. Depending on the method chosen, the process can take between 25 and 100 years.